Hey everyone, it's Phoenix, and I uh, wanted to make a video to talk about the uh, changes in the latest version of Master Recipe List. Um, there's a couple really big new features, um, a few that uh, a lot of people have really been uh, asking about, so um, I wanted to kind of cover them because they do sort of um, need some explaining. So uh, the first uh, big thing is um, if you've used the add-on before, you'll remember that when you go to the cooking station, it puts an integration bar there uh, so you can open up master recipe list um, you could you know for example click a thing and search it to find it in master recipe list um, if you had something tracked in master recipe list you could see next to the category that it contains something that you're currently tracking uh, like I'll just track everything so now every category has obviously got something in it um, I'll clear that and just check the one so and if you open that category you would see that the item is highlighted um, so that was all cool stuff you could do um, there was a button here to uh, reset navigation uh, in the original game you could only open one category at a time so like if I open uh, this one and then I scroll down and I open this one it would close the first one uh, but this adds the ability to uh, click to open and close but if you've got lots open and the list is getting really big you can actually just hit this to close everything and start over which was neat um, and then you could hide and show the tooltips so like um, I've improved that as well so now um, if you disable the tooltip uh, before if you clicked on different recipes the tooltip would like show for a split second it was really annoying so now if it's hidden it's hidden if it's shown it's shown um, and then uh, oh you can also um, if you were tracking things but you didn't want to see that the category contained something that was tracked you could just toggle this on or off um, and uh, that would actually not show um, and also for um, provisioning uh, for cooking it will also show a gold check mark next to the category that has uh, your writ requirements if you know that recipe and then um, with the last version and I've improved this this version so it doesn't uh, there was a little visual bug the last time um, if you click to open the category that contains your writ requirement that you know it will automatically scroll to it in the list and select it for you so all you have to do is just click on the category and then hit craft and then switch and then click on the category and hit craft so that was all really cool um, but before um, it didn't support any of the furniture stuff um, and I did I think in the last version add support for the um, cooking furniture stuff but in this version I have actually extended that functionality of that bar there to uh, basically to everything so any crafting station that you go to that has furniture capabilities um, it has all those same features if you wanted to see uh, what you're tracking it's got the check marks there um, you can search items in master recipe list you can close categories you can show and hide the tooltips um, so everything you could do in um, the cooking version uh, you can now do in any of the uh, furniture stuff which is pretty cool um, I did actually also add another cool feature to the um, uh, the ingredients lists so in a couple versions back I added um, by request a list of ingredients that you can show um, you can show them in the options you can select whether they show for food or for their recipe that makes the food or for both um, you can configure them separately uh, but I added that cool list. It shows you how many of the item um, in the list is needed to craft the recipe and then uh, how many total that you have. Um, in this version, I added a new option to color code items in that recipe list by their quality level. Uh, that matches how it displays them at the cooking station, which I thought was kind of cool. I thought those should probably match. So um, there is an option, though, if you don't want them to be color coded, you can turn it off, but it is on by default. So that's another cool new thing. And then um, the last really new thing um, is probably the uh, ingredients panel got a complete overhaul. So um, 
clear all my track recipes real quick. So now, um, if you, well, you'll notice first of all that the um, option to go, to go to the ingredients panel is now on both the furniture and the cooking page. Um, when you switch, you'll also see that instead of you know just the old ingredients. Uh, it actually has everything now. Um, everything that the game uh, uses as an ingredient for any cooking or furniture recipe is in here. Um, all of the original games um, just cooking ingredients are on the left together and these little buttons right here will track different things like for example this first one will track just the old uh, original actual ingredients um, and so in the second one this is all the, just the new stuff the furniture and the special um, stuff and you can also just track everything what this is handy for is, is there's a couple of things um, it still has the option to mark all um, ingredients that are used by any of your track recipes so like if you wanted to um, craft which mother's potent brew uh, which is nightshade burves juice rice and small game but you didn't have any of those ingredients and you wanted to get them at the uh, guild store you could uh, select just that recipe to track switch to the ingredients page and then hit this and it will set just those ingredients to track for you and then when you go to the guild store you'll see the uh, marks when you search for them. Um, you can now actually it's improved a little bit at the guild store where you can search by name um, so a lot of this is kind of redundant but that option was from the original so that is still there but it does now support the new stuff as well which is cool. Um, and then another really neat thing is you can uh, now search for all recipes that contain um, any of these selected ingredients. Um, and you can search separately for cooking or for furniture. So like if I wanted to see all of the food recipes that use pumpkin as one of their ingredients, I'll just select that and then hit this. And it will show me all of the recipes that use uh, pumpkin as one of their ingredients. And you can see there in the list there's a pumpkin pretty much... Um, so, and then if I go back in here and, um, oops, wrong button. If I go back in here and clear that out and I want to search for, say, all furniture recipes that use rogue soot, I don't even know if any do, I guess they must, just this one, um, is the, the same functionality except for furniture. So, um, you can actually... I'll pick one that has a few more, like I know that a lot of the um, enchanting ones. So search for any furniture recipe that and see all the pretty much all the purple enchanting ones use Rekita. So those all come up. Um, so that's another cool thing you can do. And then um, that's I think that's it for the, the new features. Um, I have to check the uh, the list. All the other documentation is on the add-on page for what else, but um, the add-on got a major rebuild this revision. It's a lot faster and it's a lot more um, streamlined. I think I've reduced about 25% of the file size of the add-on. Just um, a lot of the databases that it used, I kind of collected over the years, but they, um, there was a lot of redundancy. Um, like I had separate files for each of the subcategories of things. Now I just have pretty much one master database for uh, food stuff and for furniture stuff um, and a lookup table for their keys and then um, everything else that it uses is pretty much virtual now. There is no file for it. It's just done in, in virtual without any of the um, redundancy and it streamlined a lot and there's a lot of... Um, like I said, the file size is reduced. If you look in the contents of the folders, it's a lot less cluttered now. Um, and a lot of other improvements, I basically just kind of spent a few days going through the code line by line. And a lot of the old things that, uh, you know, were a little bit redundant or like didn't um, define a local variable when it used a global um, save variable reference more than once in a subroutine, um, things like that. I cleaned up so it's like a lot more streamlined now that it's a lot uh, smoother um, so yeah the uh, latest version is probably um, in the best shape the add-on has been and so I hope that uh, the new stuff does come in useful um, if you had any questions or suggestions uh, leave them in the comments either here but probably the best place is on the add-ons page which is in the description at esoui.com because uh, that's where I check most often so uh, like I said I hope you enjoy and as always have fun